Hey guys, I'm Matt Pittman of Meat Church. Welcome to my outdoor kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making one of my favorites, smoked turkey breast. The reason I love cooking this, this is a great alternative to smoking a whole turkey. We're going to start today with a big old turkey lobe. You could take this method and apply it to any sort of turkey breast that you get at the grocery store. I got this at our food service partner, Benny Keith. I've heard you can get big turkey breasts at Costco, so just wherever you get turkey. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're actually going to brine it before we smoke it. So first things first, let's make our brine. We've got to use any food safe container, and I'm going to use the Meat Church brine mix. Uh, we're going to use about half this package. So it's a cup for half a gallon. Don't have to be exact with it. And it's a good idea to heat this up and let it dissolve and then completely cool it off. But for today's sake, we're just going to mix it really thoroughly. And then anytime you're going with a brine, you can add any sort of components that you want to add. So maybe you want to add a little bit of citrus. Uh, you want to add some extra whole peppercorns. Kind of make the flavor profile your own. And I'm going to put you know, some herbs in here, which are a great complement for turkey. Probably add some on the top. And then be safe when you're working with poultry. I'm going to throw a glove on. And we're going to submerge this. We're going to put it in the fridge and we're gonna let it sit. You know, I wanna brine this for six hours or so, and when you're done, we're gonna to wanna to pull it out, rinse it off completely so that it's not too salty and pat it dry. I'm gonna add a little more here, put some herbs on top, a little more citrus. Again, make it your own. We're gonna close it up, and I'm gonna go put it in the fridge, and we'll be done. All right, so this lobe has been brined. We've rinsed it off and we've patted it dry, and it's time to get on to the next step. So what I'm about to teach you, I used to be skeptical, and you may be too, but I'm telling you it's gonna work. We're gonna slather this with a good mayonnaise. So Duke's mayonnaise, highly recommend. Don't use a cheap one. And if you're not a mayonnaise fan, don't worry, you're not gonna taste it. But what this is gonna do, this is gonna act as a moisture barrier and a binder and it's going to be awesome. So I'm going to use my, uh, my, I'm going to call it my dirty hand here, my glove hand, to lather this up. I'm going to keep one hand clean, working with poultry. Kind of see some of the herbs still on here from the, from the brine, but we tried to rinse it off pretty good. So again, this is just going to be a slather. Don't worry, you're not going to taste mayonnaise. This is going to be unbelievable. And then we're also going to go different. You can season this with what you want. We're going to use our holy cow rub, which is traditionally a beef rub. However, if you come to Texas and you go to Central Texas, you're going to have salt and pepper turkey. It's going to be a real pepper forward bite and it's going to be epic. And so we started doing it and even my kids love this. So kind of pat some on here. Go back on the back side. I probably should have done the back side first. That's okay. Like I say, I like to season about 18 inches up, so my application is nice and even. Feel free to make this your own and kind of season whatever, whatever flavor uh, you like. I'm gonna put just a little more on here on the top. And that's it. I'm gonna let this adhere for about 15 minutes, and I'm gonna get my pit ready at 275 degrees, and it's gonna be time to cook. Today we're cooking on our offset stick burner with hickory. 275 degrees. You can cook on any smoker you want. You can work on a pellet grill, whatever you want. We're just going to set this right on the grate. It's probably going to take hour and a half-ish depending on the size of your turkey breast. We're going to baste it with butter during the cook and it's going to be awesome. Okay, we've been cooking this turkey breast for about 45 minutes. And you can see it's getting beautiful color on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some melted butter and I'm just gonna drizzle right across the breast here to baste it. Nothing wrong with a little melted butter. Whew. 
add some richness to it, especially down here on this end where it's small. Might do a little bit extra. Nobody's going to be too mad about that. All right, guys, so this turkey's been cooking for a little over an hour and a half, out of about 135. I'm going to test it with my thermopin. We're right about 160 in the thick part. I want to pull it off there because it's going to continue to carry over cook up to 165, and you don't want to go beyond that because you're going to dry it out. I've got an insulated heat glove on here, and I'm just going to take this off, take it to the cutting board, and let it cool. Man, that smells amazing. It looks good. I can't wait to get into it. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to wait for it to cool that much. I'd give yourself 10 or 15 minutes, but we're shooting a video and this smells so good. I'm ready to eat. Okay, so let's get to carving here. And remember, this was really easy to make. We brined it, we slathered it in Duke's mayo, and we seasoned it with our holy cow. Look at that smoke we got on there from that offset. There's a lot of juice running this thing. I can tell this is going to be really good. Man, super juicy from that brine. You get that really peppery uh, punch from Holy Cow, which I love. Man, that's awesome. And if you have any leftovers, which we never do at the meat church, this will make great sandwiches. So anyway, man, if you like this, you know, subscribe to our channel. We're just trying to inspire you guys to get outside and get to cooking. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.